All right, guys, today we're going to try to make a mini meat cleaver out of nothing but this shovel and some pins and epoxy. Uh, and I wanted to challenge myself today. I want to see if I can get this knife done in under five hours. Starting now. Now the belt grinder is great for grinding the profile on knives, especially on outer radiuses and flat parts, but this wheel up here can be used for inner radiuses. Since the finger groove is really tight, I used a Dremel. Now shovel blades aren't really flat, they kind of have a curve to them, and we want our knife to be perfectly flat, or at least as close as we can get it. So I fired up the forge so we can get the metal more malleable and then we'll flatten it on the anvil. Once the blade's all flat, we're gonna start grinding the bevel. To harden the blade, we'll heat it up until it no longer sticks to a magnet and quench it in oil. And here you can see that the file skates over the edge and it kind of digs in towards the handle which means the hardening process was successful. I tempered this blade at 400 degrees at one hour because it was pretty thin. And while that was going on, I sawed off a portion of the shovel handle, flattened one side of it so that I can run it through my planer and we should get a good set of handle scales out of this. Now since time was of the essence, I pulled this blade straight out of the oven and put it on the handle scales. That's why I'm holding it there with a pair of pliers and trying to touch it as little as possible. And I draw out the rough shape on our piece of wood. Now I really think this whole time thing really stressed me out because I made a bunch of mistakes. I should have drilled the holes through the metal first and then lined the scales up with those holes, drilled those, but for some reason I felt like hot gluing them on to the knife and then sanding those like that. Uh, you probably don't want to do this because it's not very efficient and the handles will shift around on you. To sand the very tops of the scales, since we can't get to that easily with the knife, uh, I took the scales off, glued them together, then rocked it back and forth on the belt sander. Then I realized I messed up, and I center punched where I wanted the holes to be for the pins and drilled them out. Then I used the blade blank as a template to drill the holes in my scales, which should have done a while ago. Now the glue up is where I messed up the most. I kind of just rushed into it and I didn't prepare anything other than tape up the blade. 
um, I realized that I needed to wipe everything off with mineral spirits since there was oil on everything from my hands and this glue up was just absolutely terrible. I didn't have the pins cut or anything and I ended up starting over. So I had to scrape all the epoxy off of everything, although I did leave the pins in one side of the scales because uh, they didn't need to be removed. So I mixed up some more epoxy and one contributor to me having to restart the saw was because I was using 5 minute epoxy and it had already set by the time I was getting ready to put everything together. So the lesson here is really just to plan ahead, do a dry fitting of your handles and don't let time make you look like an idiot. Now because I had the scales already to their set dimensions before I drilled the holes, uh, the holes weren't drilled perfectly so they shifted a little and that meant I had to re-grind everything. I had to grind off a lot of metal to make it flush with the scales and scales so they were flush with metal but it turned out alright in the end. After the pins are chopped off we'll start rounding over the handle with the belt sander. Once that's done, we'll move on to hand sanding. Now I put some olive oil on the handle to protect it and bring out the grain, but the handle wasn't really anything to write home about. It was uh, meant to be a sturdy shovel handle, not a good looking knife scale. But again, it turned out alright in the end. I'm going to go ahead and brand it, and then we're almost done with this. Then I put a Spanish choil on the blade. Alright guys, so here's our knife. We're done with it. I might put a clear coat on the handle a little bit later. For now it's just got some oil on it. And uh, it's fairly sharp. It might scrape off a few hairs. Yeah, we got some hair on there um but time is now 4 50 and um i'd say that's pretty good for taping and making a knife at the same time